the Forty or Tea podcast. What What are some like examples of like multi sensory stimming? Because we've talked about stimming in sort of isolated instances, like you know, you do this, and this is a visual stim, and you do this, this is a auditory stim. Um, obviously, senses are not that sort of simple and straightforward, and a lot of the time, it's a combination of different things. Um, so, what kind of how how would you how do you go about explaining multisensory stimming and and what are your sort of favorite things to do? So I think a great example of a multisensory stim that's good to start with is someone twirling in a circle with their eyes open. Mm-hmm. So if you're twirling in a circle over and over again and you're keeping your eyes open and you're not spotting, so like sometimes people like in in ballet, for example, when you spin, you spot, so you look at the same spot on the wall so and then that you switch way, around and then you yeah. to look at it again and yeah so that way you stay and you like can stay focused now if you spin and you're not spotting it's going to be a lot of visual input i and... i've never heard anyone talk about that before i absolutely love that like <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so that would be a vestibular and visual stem mm-hmm. and then for me I like to do that, and I also like to add listening to the same song on repeat Mm -hmm. (laughs) while I do it. So that's a visual vestibular auditory stem. And I think that other ones could be maybe if if a person has a weighted, multi-textured plushie that they like to hold, that would be a touch-based and a proprioceptive stem mm-hmm. at the same time. Also, an audiovisual stem would be listening to the same song on repeat while looking at a music visualizer. Mm-hmm. A stem that could be focused on smell and taste would be something that has a lot of fragrant, fragrant spices that we eat again and again and again and again, like lots of bites of. And or multiple times in the day, we only eat that same fragrant, spicy food. That would be smell and taste to me. Mm-hmm. And do you do you find that when when you combine different stems, is it something that that helps you regulate more or gives gives you more joy, or do you think it's very sort of dependent on like? Because I, I I know for some sometimes for me especially if I'm hit by lots of different things with different that kind of, what does it stimulate me in, in, in a lot of the like hypersensitive senses that I have, I can find it quite jarring sometimes. Mm. Good day, viewers and listeners. Apologies for my very rude interruption to our regularly scheduled broadcast. I just want to remind you that if you have enjoyed the podcast thus far, please make sure to rate, subscribe, like, comment, and share. All of these actions are pretty much the lifeblood of a small, independent creator like myself, and it will help me get most of my work, more of my work, to people who really need it. If you want to stay up to date with my life, get behind-the-scenes content, check out my daily blogs, head over to the Instagram, at ThomasHenleyUK. You'll find a link to that down in the description, alongside my range of neurodiversity clothing, just like this strong, powerful autistic hoodie that I love so much. And my website, of course, where you can find a contact email to book me for one-to-one autism coaching, interviews, workplace training, and speaking. So, thank you very much for listening to this very annoying self-advert, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Whew. Like the effect that it has to do that. Yeah, I would say that it depends on the state of mind that I'm in. So if I'm looking for a calming stem, I tend to just want to do like close my eyes, listen to the same song on repeat. Mm -hmm. But I might if I am maybe just like not as shaken up and I just need to like stay in the zone and kind of just regulate a little bit, I will listen to a really, really loud song on repeat while drinking a hot drink. And that's like keeping me 
really focused in on the sensory input and then I can calm the whatever rattling thing happened to me prior. I would not want to do that if I'm actually in an overstimulating environment at the time. So That's if true. I'm in a very overstimulating environment, I'll just rock back and forth. I'm not about to like plug in my headphones, blast heavy metal, rock back and forth and like eat a spicy food all at the same time. I'm I'm just going to be rocking back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um that's really interesting. I I think it's definitely something that I need to think about a lot a lot more because you know for me anxiety, overwhelm, stress, it's it's pretty much like a constant battle every day for me and I'm always trying to kind of think of different ways to sort of soothe, soothe myself in that way. That sounds weird. Uh, I, I, I quite I like. I think it sounds perfectly <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. 